Good morning and welcome to Sell Saturdays. Today I'm going to show you how to make a color block skirt for a little girl. Um, as you know, most of the things I make is for my daughter. Um, as the winter goes on, I will start making more adult things, but most of the stuff I make for my daughter, you can make for yourself as well. So what I have here is some pomegranate is what they call this color fabric this is 100% cotton it's Kona cotton I got from fabric.com and I will leave the link in the description as you can see of course my daughter's waist is not this long but what I'm going to do is gather oh my goodness I'm getting dust in my eye sorry I'm going to gather this um so I cut this double what my daughter's waist is her waist is 20 um it's 20 but I put 20 and a half um, when I make things for her just because I like a little bit more room and most of the things that I make for her she can keep for longer periods of time because I make the waist a little bit bigger than what she is but anyway this is double her waist and I have two pieces of this and right now my fabric is on the wrong side um, like I've said in my other videos when you start off you always want to start off on the wrong side of the fabric um, so I have two pieces of this cut um, double her waist so that is 40 inches across each piece and then the length is 11 inch I want to show you I have here this is the length of the skirt that it is now um, and I cut this four inches and I didn't have I had like two pieces so what I did was I sew it together so I can get the length that I needed um, so I'll show you here what I'm talking about this is a four inch piece and I wanted a two inch um, band to be at the bottom and this is going to be our second color for our color block skirt and what I did was I folded these on the right side because this is going to be a double border and then you just iron it um, before you go to sew it onto the skirt. What we're going to do first is attach our bottom border to the main part of the skirt and we want to do this before we start sewing just because when you gather it's a little bit harder to put the border on um, after the skirt is already gathered but we're on the right side of the fabric right now and what you're going to do is take your border and you're going to flip it up and this is how we're going to pin it because we're going to sew it flipped up and if you see, once you have it together, when you flip it down, um, you won't see the seam. So we're just going to pin this together. And we're probably going to do a zigzag stitch to get this um, together with the main part of the skirt. That's just what I would do. Um, when I do borders like this, I do a zigzag stitch and then I turn around and do a straight stitch. Just because I want it to be a little bit more secure then um, I would do just a normal side seam or front seam on the skirt. So we're just going to keep pinning this down and we're going to sew it together. We're going to do the same thing with the other piece that we have of our skirt. And these skirts are really easy to make, kind of like our circle skirts. Um, I like to make things that are easy and fun. And you could make these for the holidays. For her for your daughter granddaughter uh, whatever niece whoever you sew for um, I do make her a lot of things for the holidays which is funny because she always have she always has too much to wear during the holidays so it's like if we go somewhere she'll have a outfit for that if we stay home and cook and have family over she has an outfit for that and then I always wind up buying her something for the store from the store so what she does is kind of like a fashion show she'll wear what I made then she'll turn around and wear what I bought and then she'll be like mom can I wear this so she always has something really cute to wear during the holidays um, but I'm just making this skirt um, for school or she could just wear it on the weekends when she's home 
kind of like a little day skirt um just with a little bit more brighter colors so now that we have our two pieces done we're gonna go ahead and sew this together along the sides and yes we're still leaving this really long because what will happen is once we put our elastic in then it will gather and we'll have the size of our child's waist so I'm just going to go ahead and pin these on both sides, do a straight stitch down, um, and then I'll show you how to insert the elastic. Okay, so now that we have our two sides sewn together, we still have a lot of fabric here, right? Um, I know this. It will come together really soon so if you marked yours like I marked mine you're gonna go ahead and fold it over where you had your line mark for where you wanted your waistband to be and then you're going to use your iron and go ahead and flatten this out and we're going to sew around just a straight stitch we're not going to close this up we need that tubing in order to put our elastic in so you're just going to sew along the bottom of the fold and then we'll go ahead and insert the elastic now when you're doing this make sure that when you sew here that you leave an opening so that we could put the safety pin through in order to feed the elastic through our waistband i just wanted to give you a little bit of advice or tip whatever you want to call it you don't have to iron your when you're doing your waistband you don't have to iron it i iron it because it just makes it easier for me when i'm putting um when i'm doing the stitch just because if it's not flat um it just makes it uneven a lot of times i'll go through making her something really quick because i want her to wear it for the day and i won't iron it i'll just go ahead and do it and um push it through and a lot of times it's uneven but as i see when i'm ironing it makes it a lot uh easier to do the straight stitch across and as you can see on both sides it's even so when i put my elastic through i won't have to have edges where it's like bunched up because one side may be sewn up further than the other because I didn't iron it down so I just wanted to give you that tip I'm gonna go ahead and start stitching this around and then we'll go ahead and put our elastic through here's our elastic and I actually cut mine at 17 inches long her like I said her waist is 20 and I like to give her a little bit more room some people cut theirs four less than the waist and some people cut six less than the waist I'm using a one inch non-roll elastic and as you can see it will stretch out so we're gonna go ahead and sew I'm sorry we're gonna go ahead and pin this so that we can get it through our um, little casing so now that we've sewn our waistband down we're going I have this one inch non-roll elastic I cut at 17 inches her waist is 20 so I cut this three less than what her waist is and I have a safety pin attached so we can feed it through the little opening that we left here I'm just going to take this in adjust it a little bit and just start feeding it through you're going to feed it all the way around and this part gets difficult sometimes because it's a lot of elastic you're working with here so bunch up as much as you can and just continue to feed this through all the way around if some of your seams come loose while you're feeding through just make a mental note and go back to it once you have the elastic in and sewn together go back and go over and stitch those parts that came loose now if you see that the back end of your elastic starts going through what you're going to want to do is hold it you can hold it and feed at the same time so that you won't lose the end piece but another thing that you can do if you're new to this is put another safety pin here so if it does get fit through while the front part is getting fit through then you can go ahead and pull it out easily with the safety pin it's a little bit harder to do if you don't have anything attached to the end so I'm going to continue fitting this through and then I'll show you how to sew the two end pieces of the elastic together and finish the skirt off. So we're done feeding 
the elastic through. So what we're going to do is put the two pieces, the end pieces of elastic together. And then we're just going to sew. I like to go front, back, front, back, front, back at least three times before I feel that my elastic is sewn together enough for me to finish it off and put it the rest of it through the skirt. So now that I've sewn the elastic together, I'm going to go ahead and take these two pieces and fold them down like this and then I'm going to sew the elastic down here as well so it's just a tad bit more secure. We are almost done and I know I've given you a lot of instruction here but it's easier than it looks honestly. And I'm going to go back and do the other side the same way. crazy hanging threads off there and then I'm going to pull it through our little opening here and it should go in there very securely and we have a lot of fabric on this skirt I know but now that we have our elastic in we can just pull around and you can adjust the amount of fabric you use um, at any time. If you don't like using double what the waist is, that's fine. You can use less. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to stretch this elastic as I sew the, the rest of the seam closed here. So I'm going to put that up. Okay, and I'm going to align the needle where I started my other seam when I was making the waistband. And I'm going to go back just to make sure that that is secure. And I'm pulling the fabric as I'm doing this. Because if you don't, you're going to have some stiff elastic. You want to stretch it out because the elastic stretches. So at this point, of course, if you want to put your name label on, you can do that. If not, you're going to flip the skirt right side out. I like to give mine a little shake, get all the extra threads off, and you are done. And you have a cute little color block skirt. And you can make this for the holidays. You can use any type of fabric basically to make this skirt with. Oh, I have some thread hanging. See, and you'll you'll see all of your little things that you need to finish off when you get done. But at this point, we're done. It's another simple, easy project you can work on. And she's going to love it. She pretty much loves everything that I make for her. But I know she's going to love it because, of course, pink is her color. And I have a little pop of blue, which is her dad's favorite color. So this is really cute. And because I made the waist a little bit bigger than I normally would, she can have this for a few years. And even if she gets taller and the skirt gets shorter, I can just cut this off add some more inches and bam there you go or I can take the waist make the waist longer but here you are a simple little day skirt or whatever you want to twirl skirt because she will be able to twirl around in it and these are simple and easy enough to where you can make them for yourself the way I like to view my sewing projects is basically um, it's a shape so to me this was a rectangle so you had two rectangles double the size of the waist and you just put it together with another rectangle at the bottom um i kind of view all my sewing projects that way what shape is it what shape do i need to make to in order to get 
the piece that I want. So now that we're all done, um, as always, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you do any of my projects, please post your pictures um, so that I can see your projects. I would really love to see your work. Uh, you could post those on Facebook or Twitter. Nika Womack everywhere except for Twitter, which is Mama, M-A-M-A underscore zero seven I also have an Etsy shop right now I don't have a lot in the shop just because with school starting back I've been really busy with the kids at school so um, if you want to mosey on over to my Etsy shop to see what I do have posted right now that is Nika D 1977 just like in the title um, of my channel it's the same on Etsy and I will put everything in the link my Etsy shop Facebook Instagram Twitter um, as well as my Tumblr, I keep forgetting I have a Tumblr, and my blog, which is frugaldiymom.com. And like I said, I got my fabric from fabric.com, and both of these fabrics are 100% cotton. This is a pomegranate, and um, if I remember correctly, this was just a blue. Um, but I will post the links to fabric.com as well, and the, and the Kona cotton. I will place that on there as well. So, as always, see you next Saturday.